CMS Wave, formerly known as WABED, is a 2D wave spectral transformation. It was originally developed to represent theoretically developed approximations for wave diffraction and reflection in a nearshore domain. We will be using the CMS Wave tutorial as an outline for this video. Most of the tutorials with SMS come with project files to work with. For CMS Wave, we can find these files on our website at aquaveo.com. We need to set the geographic coordinates and then convert them into state plane coordinates for the region that we are using. Next, we will create a Cartesian grid so that we can run CMS Wave. We do this in the map module. We right click on the coverage in the Project Explorer and change the type to CMS Wave. Then we select the 2D grid frame tool. We zoom out a little and click three points to create the grid. We select the grid using the appropriate tool. We can manually drag and resize the grid. By dragging the box in the middle, we move the whole frame. And the circle just outside of the frame rotates the frame. However, we will enter numerical values to define our grid. We open up the Grid Frame Properties dialog box by double clicking on the grid frame. Here we edit our grid properties to the specified grid size. We choose Scatter Set for our depth options, and click Select to enter the Interpolation dialog box. Linear is already selected, and we choose Elevation for the Scatter Set to interpolate from. In this case, we will use a single value to extrapolate from. Now we will select the Vector options. We will use the Current Map Vector and the Depth Average Velocity Scatter Set. Also, we will use a single time step at the 220 mark, and we exit out of the dialog boxes. To view just the grid, we will turn off the scatter set. Adjust the display options so that we only see the contours of the grid. Now we can see pretty clearly where the land, ocean, and the bay are. We will now generate the spectral energy distribution. We create a new grid and modify the number data. Then we generate spectra and modify the variables in the spreadsheet. When we click generate, we see the new spectrum 1 in the spectral manager. When we select 1, we will be able to see the energy distribution in the spectral viewer. Now we will save the model as a SMS project file before we run the simulation. We change the display option for the model so that we can visualize the solution.